Okay, so I want to tell a little story about this thing that happened one time with me and my family. Okay, so it's 1999, and we were on a little trip to Minnesota that summer. Uh, it's the last of the three times I've traveled to Minnesota, because uh, a lot of my mom's family is from there. Including, if you've heard my other story, my cousin, Bob and Jacob Dillon. Yeah. So, we're out there, and while we were at it, we decided to go to a Minnesota Twins game. And this is when the Twins sucked really bad. In the late 90s, I mean, they were a total joke in 1999. They were one of the worst teams in baseball. And unlike some teams, like the Yankees, whose fans will still come out, no. No, the Twins fans are fair weather as fuck. As soon as they start losing, they disappear. And this ballpark was mostly empty, right? The Metrodome? Now, they routinely get 10, 12,000 fans to a game. No one cared. And my dad actually calls up the ticket office. Because we're from New York. Like, we're used to stadiums like Shea, Yankee Stadium, City Field being packed. You know, we've never experienced, like, empty ballparks. E even when the Mets were horrific in their early existence, they still had good attendance, even when they were losing 110 games a year. So he calls up the ticket office, and he goes, uh, yeah, are, are any tickets available to tonight's game? And the ticket agent laughs over the phone and goes, <laughs> are you kidding, sir? This is the Minnesota Twins. Do you want to buy an entire section? What section do you want? Yeah, we definitely don't sell out. You can just buy tickets at the gate. <laughs> so we go in there. The ballpark's like probably two-thirds empty. They basically closed half of the stadium because there was no one sitting there at all. But the reason we wanted to go was because uh, my favorite pitcher, Pedro Martinez, was pitching that night. And, you know, back in 1999, he was at the peak of his brilliance. He was as dominant as any pitcher in baseball history has ever been. He was untouchable. 99, 2000. And, of course, he ends up, like, dominating the Twins. 15 strikeouts. I mean, he was incredible that night. We got what we paid for. But uh, during the middle of the game, uh, this hitter on the Twins, Todd Walker, Second baseman is up the bat. Todd Walker fouls off a pitch. And you know when you're sitting in the stands and a foul ball kind of comes near, you're like, oh, look, a foul ball. And then it gets a little closer and you're like, oh, shit, it's kind of coming to my section. And the next step is, oh, I think it's coming towards me. And then the fourth and final step is, whoa, that ball is coming right at me. Right? That's how it works progression so that's exactly what happens and before we could even look at the fourth step right stage four this ball's coming at us it comes literally right at my brother who's 11 years old at the time and hits him right in the fucking ribs and I guess he was tougher than we thought because he kind of brushed it off and didn't appear to be hurt but yeah that ball hit him Dead on. <laughs> and they still, for like legal reasons, they had to send uh, security out there and the medics to check him out. And aside from having his stitches from the baseball like embedded in his side because it hit him that hard, uh, he was perfectly fine. But we mentioned to the stadium security that, um, you know, we were there to see Pedro pitch and he was like our favorite pitcher and whatever. And they're like, well, you know, let me see what we can do for you. So, and, and they didn't even wait till after the game either. Usually this type of thing, you got to wait till after. But they were nice enough to go down through the clubhouse into the dugout in the middle of the game and get Pedro to autograph the baseball, which he did. And uh, he even put like Sam's name on it, like to Sam from Pedro and it was, like, really, really cool. They did not have to do that at all. Uh, but they did it just to be nice. I guess when you're getting, like, 8,000 fans a game, 
You try to go out of your way to make people happy because <laughs> the product on the field sure wasn't. Boy, the Twins were pathetic. But, uh, yeah, all in all, uh, like I said, we got to see Pedro have another dominant night, 15 strikeouts. My brother got hit by a ball and uh, ended up getting an autograph from our favorite player. What a night. What a fucking night.